So for today's opening skit, I'll be doing some suicidal rock juggling. You crazy? Yes. Mm, that's good. Cue the intro. What's up, YouTube? Totally Emerald here. All right, now that that's over with, let's get into the review of One Piece episode 962 titled Changing Destiny, The Whitebeard Pirates Cast Ashore. Yeah, we get to see Whitebeard! Well, spoiler alert, he's not going to appear a lot in this episode. Oh, that's a bummer! Hey, but hey, for, for all that we do get, here's a picture of Whitebeard's luxurious, long, fashionable hair. Oh, it's almost... No, it, this might even be better than mine. Well, at, at least right now. I took a sh hour. My staff made me take a shower after I dried my hair. I mean, not dried, uh, straightened. So you know. Uh, but if it were in its, but if it were in its emo form, uh, don't worry. It would. They would at least be equals. All right. Is everyone ready for a review? All right. Let's get into it. When we left off, Odin was having a freaking boner about to fight, no, kill Ashra and his gang all. Shing, shing, shush, shing. Obviously, he makes quick work of the fodder soldiers, but Doji put up a good fight. You know, I wonder if he's the strongest of Odin's vassals. I mean, he's going toe to toe with him, so yeah, I'd say he's at the very least in the top three. Actually, um, maybe, yeah, he's number one, as you'll see later in this episode. Yeah, he's the top dog. Oda, I mean, Odin's number one warrior, besides Odin himself. Bing, shing! God, this is so cool. Maybe he is the strongest. You lived in the capital. You don't understand. You think it was easy? Shing! I'll kill you. Sh the hell you will. Odin's two-sword style. Samurai Great Spirit. Shing! Who won? The younger Akazaya arrived to see a victorious Odin. It might have taken a day, but Odin won, sitting victoriously on the defeated Doji. Man, Odin is so cool! Totally. Odin then decides to become Curry's king and restore it to greatness. And so he did. And everyone around Ruano country hears about Odin conquering Curry. His dad even drops his, the disownment, and why wouldn't he? Odin turned the lawless land into a complete paradise. Here's the two side by side. It's like they're a completely different place, and that's because it is now. And with that, Odin is now the daimyo of Curry. You know what this calls for? Random dancing! <laughs> That's our random dancing segment. It'll happen every time there's a montage or whenever I feel like it, whichever comes first. Odin decides to make the scabbards his vassals and with that, they're his samurai. And then they start getting emotional and hug Odin and a, a snot coming out of him. Ugh, disgusting. I think it's cute. Uh, that's a little gay detective. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, I'm not gay. We flash forward six years later, or 33 years before the present day, when Odin got back fetching giant fish for lunch, he found thugs trying to burn kid Nekomomushi, Unorashi, and Kawamamatsu alive. Sickos, what's wrong with them? Yeah, totally. And none of this and kicks some booty and saves the minks, the fishmen, by throwing his fish, okay? Not the weirdest way to beat someone. And then Odin takes them in and feeds them some Odin. Seriously, I really feel like Odin's a cannibal. Hey, he's not. It's just food. Not... Uh, he's not a cannibal. Whatever you say. Oh, uh, then Neko knocks it over because it's too hot? Shame on you, Neko. There are starving children in Africa who could have eaten that. Africa doesn't exist here. Oh yeah, 
Well, there's still a lot of starving children in the world, in that world. That's still disrespectful. Aw, uh, but Kawamatsu's still grateful. He even eats it off the floor. And then we get Kawamatsu's backstory. And, spoiler alert, it's the pressing. Hey, this is One Piece. Almost everyone has a disappointing story. Well, yeah, but it, it's a little... Does it have to be all sad? I mean, why can't any of them be normal? I mean, I know that's not One Piece's goal to be normal. That's how it's popular. But, uh, wouldn't it... At least some? Nope! Oh. And so the ship he was on sank, and his mom and him were outcasts because they were fishermen. Before his mom died, he told him to just tell people they're a, he's a kappa. That way he wouldn't get picked on. Since then, he's been living off leftovers. Wow, that's so sad! His poor mommy! Shh. It's okay, Pikachu. She's in Fishman Heaven. Does One Piece have an afterlife? Of course it does. Uh, it's, oh, shh, it's okay. Neko, after hearing this, apologizes and all and eats the stuff of four, or at least tries to, because as he's thought, it's really hot. Just look at him. Yeah, man, you must really have one sensitive tongue. Might want to get that checked out. After hearing Odin lent money to Orochi, Raizo and the Scabbards get try to get the money back, but they get captured. And maybe if they didn't take so much money, because look, they tried to take that much money, you could have stopped at just one barrel. I mean, not chest, that's the word, slow the tongue, sorry. They, it, that's a lot of money. But after seeing how loyal they are to Odin, he lets them keep it, along with the bonus as long as they use it to become good samurai. We get another montage. You know what this means? Random dancing! Man, this will never get old. You said it! We then flash forward three years into the future. Now the scabbards look like real bona fide, dignified samurai. Makes sense, it's been three years. Oh, and while in the capital, Odin hears his dad is ill and pays him one last visit. And uh, with Orochi uh, being in the same room. Ooh, epic foreshadowing. Finally, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the younger Whitebeard Pirates. Just look at Marco. He does not look 15. You know, I think this might be before his he got his phoenix power. Um, or at the very least, he could, had to have just gotten it. Maybe that's the reason he joined the pirates. Uh, so, uh, he because he got his devil fruit? Maybe. Mm, I mean, we'll find out in a beaver card. Anyway, they're shipwrecked and need to get supplies. And the last frame is of Whitebeard and his previously luxurious hair. Damn. Ugh. I, guys, I'm sorry, I, I, my hair looks like this. It was straightened. I straightened my hair by myself for the first time in months. Uh, this whole time I've been having my staff do it for me, uh, but I had to do it on my own from now on. But, and I actually did it, but I did something that made me have to take a shower and sorry, I promise I'll, I'll be smart about it now. Okay. And I'm going to try to make a straightening my hair a habit. All right. Oh, and in case you guys wondering if Whitebeard's ever bald, well, Oda drew him without his bandana. Shaped like his beard. Yeah, not exactly good looking. But he's he was the world's strongest man. He doesn't have to worry about what people think. He could just knock you out. He was, he was a Yonko. The preview for the next episode has a... Odin clashing with Whitebeard. Oh, that's going to be extreme. All right, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, press that bell icon for more Black Clover and One Piece content. All right, here's the after show. Okay, guys, so for today's after show, I'll be doing another unboxing. Oh, and you like that? Yeah, it's my Sailor Jupiter poster. Cost me like 20 bucks. Totally worth it. This thing is almost half as big as my love for her. And it's pretty big. Ugh. Oh, Mako. Why can't you be real? Uh, okay, we're not talking about that today. We're, I'll be unboxing my Feng Sway bracelet. 
Buddha Power Edition. Yep. And just gonna... Buddha Power. That's the brand. Yeah, check it out. It for, for everyone who doesn't know, which is probably the majority, a Feng Shui bracelet is pretty much... No, it is a good luck bracelet. It brings good luck, wealth, relationships. Uh, uh, I saw this commercial. I'll leave a link to it down below where you can get your own. Yeah, but I got this one on Amazon. But And with this, it's going to help me reach 3 million views in four years. Uh, and with... Maybe I should buy a second one. Oh, and a little tip... Make sure this thing, uh, you see this animal, the Pixu, is facing upwards so it can draw in the good energy. All right, that's the after show. Bye.